You deserve a president who respects you, talks to you, and who levels with you, puts it right on the level, and who always has your best interests and has your back. I have your back, I have your heart, and I have every other part of your body. The transgender thing is incredible. Think of it. Your kid goes to school and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. And, you know, many of these childs, 15 years later, say, what the hell happened? Who did this to me? You know, I do the weave. You know what the weave is? I'll talk about, like, nine different things, and they all come back brilliantly together. And it's like, and friends of mine that are, like, English professors, they say, it's the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and, but the fake news, you know what they say? He rambled. It's not rambling. When you have, what you do is you get off a subject to mention another little tidbit, then you get back onto the subject, and you go through this, and you do it for two hours, and you don't even mispronounce one word. Their windmills are causing whales to die in numbers never seen before. The windmills are driving them crazy. They're driving, they're driving the whales, I think, a little batty. The late, great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. Sinks. Toilets and showers. You take a look at bacon and some of these products, and some people don't eat bacon anymore. And uh, we are going to get the energy prices down when we get energy down. You know, this was caused by their horrible energy wind. They want wind all over the place. But when it doesn't blow, we have a little problem. This is Tic Tac. This is Tic Tac. They're eating the dogs. The great Pavarotti, the singer, when you know, he's a very, he was a diva. He was the greatest of all divas, the greatest, right? Pavarotti. But he was a, he liked me for whatever reason. He was very terrible to other people. To me, he was nice. He liked me. The Mueller report, I wish, covered the oranges, how it started. In the failing New York Times by an anonymous, really an anonymous, gutless coward. They sacrifice every day for the furniture and future of their children. Tim Apple. Mike Pounds. I know words. I have the best words. Yosemites. Yosemites. Nambia. Thailand. <laughs> you have voter ID to buy a loaf of bread. The Democrats. Ooh, there was a mosquito. I don't want mosquitoes around me. I'm a very stable genius. <laughs> The disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection? I tested positively toward negative, right? Thank you, everybody. Yes, People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. Sinks, right? Showers. And what goes with a sink and a shower? 10 times, right? 10 times. Wow, Bob, not me, of course, not me. You want to wash your hands, you turn on the sink, the water comes up. No, get those lights off. Off. You have a shower. It's no good for me. Remember the dishwasher, you'd press it, boom, there'd be like an explosion. One of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. And the worst president in the history of our country who is cognitively impaired, in no condition to lead, and is now in charge of dealing with Russia and possible nuclear war. Just think of it. We would be in World War II very quickly. God bless the United States. It's my favorite question. I love that somebody would ask me this question, and I never told you to do it, right? Who are you? So you have millions of gallons of water pouring down from the north with the snow caps in Canada and all pouring down. 
And they have a, essentially a very large faucet. And you turn the faucet, and it takes one day to turn it. It's massive. It's as big as the wall of that building right there behind you. And you turn that, and all of that water goes into the, aimlessly into the Pacific. And if they turned it back, all of that water would come right down here and right into Los Angeles. They wouldn't have to have people not use more than 30 gallons and 32 gallons. They want to do that, you know. They're trying to do that. And you have so much water. And, and you could revert water up into the hills where you have all the dead forests, where the forests are so brittle. Because no, no place is like California. You know, we have trees that are much more flammable than what you have in California. We never have. And you have all that water that could be used to as water, what they call water flow, where the, war, war, you know, where the land would be damp. And Gavin Newscomb is going to sign those papers. And if he doesn't sign those papers, we won't give him money to put out all his fires. But we have tremendous amounts, millions of gallons of water that's shoved right into the Pacific Ocean where it doesn't make a dent. She can't talk without maybe getting the answers. What's the story with that? Did she get the questions? Did you think? And I also heard she had something in the ear, a little something in the ear. He just came up. Are the teleprompters not working? So not even a little bit. Great job. And then I don't pay the company that does it, right? And then I end up with a story Trump doesn't pay. I don't pay contractors that do a job. And that's a job. That's a job. This is the worst border in the history of the world. There's never been no third world country has a border like that. And no third world, I'll tell you what, and I hope the military, I hope the military revolts at the voting booth. I went to a boat company in South Carolina, the boat. I said, how is it? He said, it's a problem, sir. They want us to make all electric boats. So I said, let me ask you a question. And he said, nobody ever asked this question. And it must be because of MIT, my relationship to MIT. Very smart. He goes, I say, what would happen if the boat sank from its weight and you're in the boat and you have this tremendously powerful battery and the battery is now underwater and there's a shark that's approximately 10 yards over there. By the way, a lot of shark attacks lately. Do you notice that? A lot of shark. I watched some guys justifying it today. Well, they weren't really that angry. They bit off the young lady's leg because of the fact that they were, they were not hungry, but they misunderstood what, who she was. These people are crazy. He said, there's no problem with sharks. They just didn't really understand a young woman swimming. Now it really got decimated and other people to a lot of shark attacks. So I said, so there's a shark 10 yards away from the boat, 10 yards or here. Do I get electrocuted? Do you feel the breeze? Because I don't want anybody going on me. We need every voter. I don't care about you. I just want your vote. I don't care. So we do these rallies. They're massive rallies. Everybody loves, everybody stays till the end, by the way. You know, <laughs> when she said that, well, your rallies, people leave. Honestly, nobody does. And if I saw them leaving, I'd say, and ladies and gentlemen, make America great again, and I'd get the hell out, okay? Because I don't want people leaving. What do you see as the major threats to the future of Michigan manufacturing auto working jobs, and what will you do to eliminate those threats, sir? Okay, so I'll get into another little bit of a long answer because when you say major threat, to me we have one really major threat that's called nuclear we weapons. Call, we have other countries that are hostile to us. They don't have to be hostile to us. I always say if you have a smart president, you'll never have a problem with China, Russia, or any of them, okay? I got along great with Putin. I got along great with uh, President Xi. I got along great with Kim Jong-un of North Korea. Everybody said, oh, you can't get along with him. He liked me. I got along great with him, and he has a lot of nuclear force. How are you going to bring down the cost of food and groceries? Good. Very good. Thank you. So we have to start. Always with energy, always. I don't want to be boring about it, but there's no bigger subject. It covers everything. If you make donuts, if you make cars, whatever you make, energy is a big deal. You'll see they'll do the rate cut and all the political stuff tomorrow, I think. And, you know, will he do a half a point? Will he do a quarter of a point? And, you know, one of the reasons is we allow a lot of farm product into our country. And I don't know if you remember, 
I love the farmers because, you know, I had many meetings as president. I have this gorgeous room with this beautiful table that seats about 35 people. I said, look, fellas, we're going to get you such a beautiful subsidy. Everyone wants, they want money. One, they want to build windmills. We want money with these windmills. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, nobody's ever said that. And I have many industries and many groups of people from different things. You know, they do all different things. It's probably the most dramatic I've ever seen. He didn't want anything. All he wanted was to be able to compete fairly. Can you commit? to prioritizing legislation to make childcare affordable? And if what specific piece of legislation will you advance? Well, I would do that, and we're sitting down. You know, I was uh, somebody, we had uh, Senator Marco Rubio, and my daughter Ivanka was so uh, impactful on that issue. It's a very important issue. But I think when you talk about the kind of numbers that I'm talking about, that, because, look, childcare is childcare. It's, couldn't, you know, there's something, you have to have it. In this country, you have to have it. Uh, but when you talk about those numbers compared to the kind of numbers that I'm talking about by taxing foreign nations at levels that they're not used to, but they'll get used to it very quickly. And it's not going to stop them from doing business with us, but they'll have a very substantial tax when they send product into our country. Uh, those numbers are so much bigger than any numbers that we're talking about, including childcare that it's going to take care. We're going to have, I, I look forward to having no deficits within a fairly short period of time, coupled with uh, the reductions that I told you about on waste and fraud and all of the other things that are going on in our country, because I have to stay with child care. I want to stay with child care. But those numbers are small relative to the kind of economic numbers that I'm talking about, including growth, but growth also headed up by what the plan is that I just, uh, that I just told you about. We're going to be getting in trillions of dollars, and as much as child care uh, is talked about as being expensive, it's relatively speaking not very expensive compared to the kind of numbers we'll be taking in. We're going to make